You see the sign up here? Sure. It indicates our current defense condition. Last week, our Prime Minister announced a brand new COVID alert rating system. That COVID alert level will tell us... Never before had we had such a simple and clear way to know exactly what level of lockdown we are in. The lower the level, the fewer the measures, the higher the level, the stricter we will have to be. And then he ruined it all by setting it to 3.4, 3.6, wh whatever. Anyway, it reminded my friend Jeff of something. And so it's inspired me to make my very own screen accurate working miniature DEF CON sign from War Games. Now, before we get started, I have decided to give away the finished model. So if you're interested in that, then please watch the video until the end. I found these couple of stills from the movie and that's going to be the basis for my design. So first things first, let's design the 3D model in Fusion 360.
So now I've done all the electronics, it's time to do some coding. <laughs> no, don't, don't turn off, it's going to be interesting, I promise. I'm going to be going through it pretty fast, so don't worry if you don't catch it all, but hopefully you'll get the gist and I'll be posting the code on my GitHub, the link will be in the description. Opening up Arduino, the first thing I'm going to do is load up the Adafruit.star strand test example because that's what I need to drive the LEDs I'm using. Commenting out all the things I need to and adjusting the settings for the trinket and how I've wired it up and uploading it to the board. <laughs> yeah, so the strand test can be a little bit intense. So now I'm going to strip out all of the strand test code and write my own code. I'm going to start by making a variable called pixelNum and that's going to store the number of the light that is currently lit. So this code clears the strip, turns on the light that we want, waits a second, adds one to that light and if we reach the end then we go back round to the beginning again. And the top light always needs to be lit. So after I've cleared the strip, I'm going to turn that light on and then reduce the overall number of pixels. And now it's time to get the button working. So we set up the pin that's connected to the button as an input. And then instead of waiting for a second, we're now going to wait until the button is pressed. You'll notice that it's going a bit weird when you push the button. Now the reason for that is that as long as that button is pressed, we're going to be jumping to the next light and the next light over and over again so fast that it looks like they're all lit. The way to get rid of that is to first wait for the button to be released before we wait for the button to be pressed. So now I'm going to change all the colours of the light so it matches the original. So the first one is white, second one red, third one yellow, fourth one green, fifth one blue, and then the top one, which is white again. We're looking good! But now, just because I'm a perfectionist, you might notice that those white lights look really blue. In the movie, those lights would have been incandescent bulbs, so I'm adjusting the colours to make them more yellowy orange, so they more accurately simulate incandescent bulbs. I'm going to refine this code a little bit more later, but for now I think we're pretty much there.
Let's see the sign up here. Here. DEFCON. It indicates our current defense condition. And here it is. It's all finished. I can't believe it, obviously. Being me, I've gone a little bit overboard. I've made so many refinements. Some of them you might not even notice, like I've just added a tiny little fade up and down because LEDs can be really sharp on and off. And that's not really like traditional light bulbs. Can you tell the difference? Let me know in the comments. I've also added a mode selector. So if you push and hold, then it starts flashing like in mode selection and then I can push the button to select which one. Mode one is just fully manual. Mode two, it automatically goes up and down. It changes every minute. Mode three is the same, but except it goes up and down randomly. Mode four is disco mode. <laughs> and then of course, mode five is Boris mode when you can't decide whether it's three or four. I'll be posting the model files and all the code. I'll put the links in the description and I'll also put links to all of the things that you need if you wanted to build one of these yourself. How do you win this amazing little model? Well, I want you to answer the following question. The question is, in the US DEF CON ratings, which rating from one to five is the worst, meaning that nuclear war is imminent or happening right now? If you leave your answer in the comments, and then once this video gets to 2000 likes, then I'll pick one of those comments at random. Full rules and instructions are in the description, but please do like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this, and I hope to see you next time.